Mind is a delicate little thing. It can only take so much. After that, well, one can become a quite a monster, don't you think? Or so it was with Mia. Poor, poor Mia. Lost to her own grief which turned into madness after losing her child. It clearly wasn't meant to be. The creature that came out of her only vaguely looked human. Even the midwife speculated that it simply stopped developing after the bright light licked the world and left everything in shambles. They tried to get rid of it, but she fought them all off, adamant to keep her child. She insisted that it was alive, even while the body was unmoving, telling them that she could hear her and she just needed a little bit more time. But time where? The thing was already out. The time was up. Yet, she did not budge on the issue. Day after day, she looked after the corpse as if it was alive. Until she grew too weak to do so. Her body simply couldn't keep up. The doctor spoke of anemia being the reason. And with the world being in other chaos, there was very little ways they could treat her. With her condition getting worse, she only yearned to see her child. Poor thing was going to be left alone in the cruel world after all. Yet, something odd happened. The child began to bleed from its eyes, like bastardized tears caused by its mother's blight. The tears themselves seemed never-ending, even while such an act would be lethal to any living being. She took this as a sign. Her child was more than alive, she had given birth to a new god, god whom could cure her and the world of its illness. What happened that day is still mere speculation. Some believe that she murdered all the people in the mansion, while others think that they simply fled after the lady of the house succumbed to her insanity. It doesn't matter. Nowadays, it's quite hard to find anyone who hasn't heard of her. Just another person gone mad after the light. Just another cult worshipping a dead god.